Hi, it's Diana here to talk about the story portion of Bad Beginning. Bad, the Bad Beginning is book one in a series of unfortunate events. And I've said both things um, that I was going to say first, which is this is the first time, and I mentioned it in the introduction video, the first time that I do a larger book, longer book, chapters, more words, all that good stuff. And also, not only that, and also not only, um, this book is part of a series. And it's not a short series. 13 books is not a short, oh, I didn't say that part. There are 13 books in the series. <laughs> and that's not a short series. Um, I can't help but wonder and guess that 13 was chosen on purpose to go with the kind of unfortunate, unlucky theme. The, this one, uh, the first one is The Bad Beginning, and each book, it has an alliterative title, just like this, BB, Bad Beginning. The only one, other one that I can think of um, without having to look is The Penultimate Peril, and um, so they're all like that, except the last one. The last one is called The End, which is quite fitting. So another thing to notice on the cover of the book, hey, yeah, let's look at the book like we did the last time, is that um, it's by Lemony Snicket. Lemony Snicket's here, name here on the cover. Snicket is on the spine. Snicket is on the title page. Well, it's not just Snicket, it's Lemony Snicket. I keep forgetting it doesn't really, it doesn't focus. Me putting the, the item closer to the lens does not focus it. It's also here, and it's very here on the publisher's page, very tiny writing. So unless I take a still, I'm not going to show it to you because it's very tiny. So uh, um, the author, if you wanted to touch a person who is the author of this book, you would be poking on the shoulder uh, Daniel Handler. And I'm not saying go poke Daniel Handler. No. Uh, but that is the person who is has um, a physical form. <laughs> hmm. I am really going in circles to say that Lemony Snicket is not the author. Lemony Snicket is a narrator slash character in the book. Now, <laughs> Um, the interesting thing to me is that it is really hard. When I first tried to find the name of the person who wrote the book, I had to do a lot of looking. And that's not like to do this. Um, this was a few years ago. Let me look. It, um, it was before, not that this is important, but heck, okay, before 2015. It, it took a little looking to find out the name of the person who actually wrote the book. Um, and and what I want to say about Daniel Handler is that I went to a book festival in Austin uh, and he was one of the speakers and a couple of things. First, I stood in line with all 13 books. Um, my child who owns, actually owns these books, was at a choir competition so I carried the books and had Daniel Handler sign them. And there's, this is what, <laughs> so there's a stamp and the stamp says um, Lemony Snicket. And then there was, he, he wrote, Daniel Handler wrote to, you know, to my child. Um, and then it says Lemony Snicket and there's an X with a line, which like sign here. And Daniel Handler signed it here. I, as far as I can tell, that's a big D. It doesn't look like a big L. And under here, it says there's a box for to check author and a box to check official representative. And he checked official representative. <laughs> so even here, even in line, in person, Daniel Handler is saying, it's let me stick it and I'm the official representative. So maybe we should call him that. So I went to Daniel Handler. He gave two um, talks. And um, one of them, because he, he also, so Daniel Handler, I don't know if he's an official representative here, but he does do, Daniel Handler writes books that are um, for adults. And so I went to the Lemony, the, not the Lemony Snicket one, the one that was for children. And um, he was in character. 
Daniel Handler was in character. He acted differently than he did when he signed these books and he acted differently than he did at the adult um, talk, speech. I, I don't like to use the word speech because the ink. All right, speech. God. Anyway, I'm, I'm annoying myself. <laughs> I do have the capacity to do that. <sighs> so, my point is, that thing that I'm trying to get to here, is that he was so fun to watch. Um, his his uh, children or young readers' speech was very engaging. He was engaging. He, he not, he was on stage before the whole thing started while people were coming into the venue and it was kind of like it was an auditorium so there was a stage and then there was seating and he <laughs> walked around on stage being in character not really saying anything but very much acting um, and during the talk he not only was on stage being interesting and funny um, but he came into the audience and interacted with people if you get a chance, if he gives more talks or does appearances, I absolutely recommend going to see him. And then in, I also recommend it for his adult book, his books written for adults. Um, he was not in character. He was in the character of himself, I'm guessing. I don't know the man. Um, and he didn't walk around on the stage. He sat in a chair. It was very professional, absolutely still engaging. Um, professional. It was, um, he's very smart, uh, witty, and, um, and interesting to listen to him talk about literature and books. So both times, enjoyed both of them very much. Um, liked list. Oh, so here's the other little thing I'm going to say. When I was getting these books signed, um, my child had drawn pictures in the book. This one not, so I'm kind of sad because I borrowed it and it doesn't have any of the drawings. When, when Daniel Handler opened the book and he saw the drawings, he said, ah, oh, this is highly decorated. And I absolutely love that. He didn't seem, he didn't seem bothered, um, insulted or anything. Or it just, Kind of noted, oh, highly decorated. I love that phrase too, highly decorated. Yes, Mr. Handler, highly decorated. Thank you. Okay, so that's my talk about Dan that's my talk about Daniel Handler, which really was a talk about Lemony Snicket and how the author issue is in this book. But that's not what we're gonna talk about overall. Um, let's see, so what, what I'm going to do is, back to the seriousness of this is a long book in a long series, I'm not going to look at the whole book. I'm not, certainly not going to look at the whole series. We're looking at two chapters at the beginning of book one. It's chapters three and chapters four. Really what we can do is we're going to look at, at the Putnesca, and that's the food we're doing, um, and and see how it works, what, what it establishes, or, or what we can guess, because unless we've read the series, which I have, but it's been a long time, or seen the movie or the series, I didn't see the whole series, I did see the movie, um, the best we can do is guess, make inferences of, of what this place is, where this might take us in the book, in the series. The, and what we can do is look at it and see what happened. So that's what we're going to do. It would, it's kind of like looking at chapters three and four as their own story. Um, so I think I'm going to split this in two because, because I'm looking at long chapters and two of them, it's going to take a while. And I'm already, because I gushed on about Daniel Handler, um, I'm already pretty long on my video. So we're going to split this one in two. Okay, see y'all.